Okay, so this here is the form I'm going to use. It's three quarter inch plywood, and I drilled holes around the edges in about, I don't know, an inch, three quarters of an inch. Um, down by the butt section, you, it's, you need stronger wire. I'm using, um, I'm using just a 16 gauge wire here. First thing I want to do is just pull my wire through a, uh, a rag to get all the grease off of it because they, they have oil on these to keep them from rusting. I try and clean the wire off. Go down the butt section here. I'm going to double up the wire. <clears throat> Our voice grips. Down the butt section, my holes are actually a little closer together. It's a uh, much thicker wood, which you need to be strong. So my, oh, and I lay down a tarp. I don't want to do this on the grass or dirt or anything that's going to get this all dirty. So what I'm going to do is, see this has a natural curve to it. I think I'm going to bend it this way here. So I want to get it. I like that. Um, put it around here, and I'm going to take a piece of uh, a piping foam, put it around here, keep my wire from digging in too bad or, or staining it. Help keep it clean and help avoid sanding later. Wire that up there tight. I don't know if that phone's gonna work. Looks like it might be cutting through it. I might be able to use like a piece of carpeting or something. Maybe even cardboard would work. Could use a thicker wire, but I like to save that thicker wire for trapping. I don't use a 16 gauge too much. So get that on there nice and tight. I'm going to set this up like this. Make sure that's centered on there. In the spring, um, I can cut these, peel them, and bend them in the same day, and it's not a problem. But now that it's summertime, they're just not as flexible. So what I do is I dug a trench in my garden here. I actually had potatoes growing here, so it was pretty loose. Put a tarp there and filled it up with water, put a couple rocks on there, and I'll let this soak for know, at least a few days, and, uh, and, then, and then bend it. See how that works. I, I did one. I tried one, and it broke on me. <laughs> a lot of work peeling it to have it uh, crack on you. So give this a try. So I let my sapling soak in the water for uh, let's see, five days. Hopefully, it's long enough. Fast, actually. Back. 
back and forth. It's very thick. And they like to break. Bridge is no good to me. It's bending. A lot easier with two people. So now I've, I've got this bent, and I notice I left this sticking up here. And you're going to need more wire up here on this end, and then they can get farther apart as you get over to here. Right here, I didn't tighten this one up yet. This knob right here, this little branch is coming off. I like to leave those on because it gives it character until it's a sapling. But that one there is going to hit my board here. I'm going to actually cut that one down a little bit before I continue bending this. So I cut that little piece off so I can continue to bend this. And what I'm going to want to do is drill a hole up in here. This this size here. I'm going to actually uh, cut this off here and maybe use a rasp on it, smooth it up, and drill a hole through here that that will stick right through. Then I'll drill a hole and put a pin through it to hold it in place. Okay, so I drilled a hole going through here. And now I'm going to undo this one here so I can back it off and I'll see if I can get it in there. Okay, now you see, they set right through there. Actually, once this is dry, it probably would stay in place, but I'll drill a real small hole, put a finishing nail through there, and then dremel it off on each side, and then it's sure to not pull out. And uh, you see, it makes a pretty good, pretty good circle. Might be a little off at the top, but I always hang it up there. But, uh, now I'll put this, after I do that pin, I'll put this in the garage and give it a few weeks to dry. Then the okay, so I let this here dry for, I guess it's been about four weeks now. Um, I'll make sure it's good and dry. I see all these are loose. It's no longer holding it in place. So I know, you know when I take those off, it's not going to lose its shape. Um, if those are still tight, then probably not dry yet. I'll make sure it's good and dry. So I'm just going to take and uh, just cut all these wires. Okay, so I got this off the form. Now this wood shrinks down, so I'll take a file and I'll file down these uh, the pin here that I used to hold it together. See here my hoop is all 
sanded and polyurethaned. And I've got it ready to, to hoop up a beaver. Came out pretty nice. <clears throat> so what I do is I, I position the beaver where I want it and I put about eight strings holding it in place and then go ahead and go all the way around hooping it up not pulling it too tight to get it all the way around then I'll snug it up because if you pull it too tight as you go around it's going to tend to pull whichever side you you uh, string up first so I'm going to go ahead and string that up 